Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name's Tyler and I just do consistent content, all things related to hockey and the NHL overall. And yes, the Philadelphia Flyers defeated the Montreal Canadiens, the Habs, in six games of that best of seven series for the Eastern Conference quarterfinals, sending the Habs home packing. And what a series this was, a somewhat surprising series with the Canadiens looking strong and not just the qualifying round, of course, defeating the Pittsburgh Penguins of all teams and something that really no one believed would happen, but also giving the Philadelphia Flyers a run for their money but ultimately the Flyers prevailed here in the series are now moving on to the Eastern Conference semifinals in which they will now play the New York Islanders so what a series that will be but I'll be giving you a summary and thoughts on this series right here between the Habs and the Flyers and what is next for these two, e two Eastern Conference teams going forward. But are you new to the channel? If so, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button if you end up enjoying this kind of hockey content. Thank you all so much for whoever's been following me thus far and subscribed. It means so much to me. Now help us reach 1K because once I get there, I can start doing live streaming. And I can do live streams for commentary based on regular season games, playoff games, things lean up to the draft, the draft itself, and beyond. A lot of great things will happen there. But make sure you hit that like and subscribe button if you do, in fact, enjoy this kind of hockey content. But without further ado, let's get right into this video. What a series this was between these two teams. The Montreal Canadiens defying the odds by being the Pittsburgh Penguins in this past qualifying round, sending them home in a really a surprising fashion. I thought the Penguins would surely have a deep playoff run this year, but it simply wasn't the case. The Montreal Canadiens looked fantastic in that series, and they really looked strong at times in this series as well, but ultimately the Flyers prevailed with a lot of expectations behind this team after having a fantastic regular season. Did not skip a beat once the, uh, the team returned to play in this round robin being fantastic becoming the first seed in that round robin and ultimately winning the series in six games what a series this truly was between the montreal canadians with the likes of guys like nick suzuki yesperi kak and yemi and of course shea weber jeff petrie all of them stepping up at times while that was strong and impressive it simply was enough for this philadelphia flyers team led by the likes of guys like um jacob voracek of course kevin hayes who had his first goal in this game six of this series this past night and of course scott lawton who has been a surprise factor not just throughout the regular season but this postseason and sean couturier looking strong as well but gaining in into statistics voracek led the flyers in the playoffs thus far with eight total points kevin hayes has seven points his second on the team in points currently including one goal and that came in tonight's game and then scott lawton and sean couturier are tied with five points apiece really strong numbers there but then when you get to the montreal canadians of course nick suzuki the rookie a guy who i really should have gained more credit i even did a video on 10 rookies to watch in this year's postseason but i didn't have suzuki in there foolishly because of the fact that i thought the habs would not have a deep playoff run at all or surely even make playoffs so that's a fault on me i'm sorry habs fans i was clearly wrong in that case because suzuki has looked fantastic not just throughout the regular season with over 40 points but seven points in the playoffs including get ready for this four goals that's very impressive and then you have jonathan Druin, who has really stepped up with seven points as well and she Weber the captain with five and this was the only playoff series I want to add that had the team winning the series that didn't have as many goals as the opposing team in the series the Flyers only had 11 goals in this series to the Habs having Gary for this 13 as we all know the Flyers I believe were shut were shut out twice in this series is that the case or am I getting the Habs confused regardless one of them was I I think it was the Flyers the Flyers got shut out twice didn't they I don't know. I could be confusing myself here. So let me know in the comments below, guys. I don't know why I'm getting confused here. But regardless, this was a very strong and fast-paced series when it comes to the Montreal Canadian side of things. They have really been flying up and down the ice with those young guns in the lineup, whether it be the likes of the Kakinyamis of the world, the Suzukis of the world, or having some you know veterans in there like Brennan Gallagher, who was playing good until, of course, he got hurt by the Matt Niskanen hit with the broken jaw. That was very unfortunate, and that very well could have been a factor in the things. But regardless... The Habs gave, gave their all. Carey Price looked very strong at times, but Carter Hart, for the most part, looked very promising and showing just how coveted he is, not just by this Philadelphia Flyers fan base and organization, but the, NH, but the NHL overall. He looks like he's going to have a very promising future. And now the Flyers are going into the second round of playoffs against, yes, the New York Islanders. What a series that is going to be with this Flyers team that has really been cruising throughout this regular season, going up against a grizzled Islanders team that has a, such a strong overall defensive game. 
hounds you on the puck for checking and back checking whatever it may be they're so tough to go up against especially going into their defensive zone they know how to shut you down quite easily so this will be a very entertaining series to watch i'm very excited for it i'm looking forward to see how guys like travis connect me especially because he only had three points in the playoffs thus far so i expect more point production out of him and some other guys in this flyers lineup i think they definitely need it going forward if they want to have a deep run and i definitely think that is a strong possibility so if the flyers do get anywhere expect guys like connect me who really led them this year as an overall player and points to lead the way here when it comes to overall production in this postseason so be on the lookout for him especially but from the islander side of things i'm very excited to see how they do against the fires as well and when it comes to the montreal canadians look has fans you guys went into this nhl trade deadline back in the end of february thinking you weren't you weren't even going to make playoffs you're selling off guys like the Ilya Kovachuks of the world and truly has been phenomenal the kind of run you guys have had so huge hat props to you and i wish you nothing but the best going forward the habs have an amazing prospect pool easily top five in the nhl and they're only going to continue to get better and hopefully for their sake and carry price's sake they can really continue to develop this team with a young core group with amazing prospect pool while price is still relatively speaking in his prime to help them get the job done for their sake but should be interesting to what see what happens forward but flyers fans let me know how hyped are you because this was such an impressive series by you guys i'm really excited to see how some other guys guys doing this lineup especially coming out of that bottom six and on defense and Ivan Provorov also had his first playoff goal in this game six tonight as well I just wanted to throw that out there but if Hart can really play on his head then I think the Flyers have a strong chance Elaine Vigneault knows what it takes to um, win at the regular season and playoff level it's just a matter of getting over that hump of winning a Stanley Cup he's been to the Cup twice with the Vancouver Canucks and the New York Rangers but the matter is can he get the Flyers to this team and can he oh, ultimately get over that hump and win them a first Stanley Cup in quite some time since the 70s I believe so we'll see what happens there but Flyers fans let me know how excited you are in the comments below and are you looking forward to this first round series against the New York Islanders and Montreal Canadiens fans I know you might be a little disappointed but you guys really played lights out above and beyond and you sh truly should be proud of your team for how they rallied around one of another and trust me you have an amazing prospect pool this is only the beginning but thank you all so much guys let me know all your thoughts in the comments below right down here check out my previous video regarding playoffs if you haven't and i'll be back very very soon as as the time of recording this the vancouver canucks are currently beating on the st louis blues the former stanley cup champs for nothing with a minute left in the second period i'm not sure if i'll be able to get another video out tonight but if i don't i will surely have one up early tomorrow probably around noon easter time but that's it guys thank you all so much and i'll be back very very soon